Today we're going to show you how to swap out your existing roller door opener for a brand new Liftaway LA RDO1. The tools required for your particular job may vary, so please check what fixings you might have and adapt them accordingly. However, these are some of the tools that we are using that you will also most likely need as well. A rope ladder is probably one of the most versatile tools we have in our kit, and these are very easy to make. All you need is about six meters of rope, and then just chuck some knots in it. For extra safety, you'll need a tie down strap or another length of rope to tie around the door just in case you do end up losing the spring tension. Ideally a long socket with extension bar is required and if you're doing this on your own I highly recommend an impact driver as that can easily be used with one hand. Otherwise just a standard hand ratchet and socket will work just fine. Instructions for fixing the opener to this particular door will be for right hand installations. Simply mirror these instructions for a left hand installation. Before we remove the old opener, ensure the nuts on the opposite U-bolt are tightened firmly. A common mistake people make is to try and install the motor whilst the door is closed. This is when the door is under its highest spring tension and is very dangerous, so always have the door open when installing a new opener. Now lift up the roller door and slip the rope ladder over the brackets. This will provide a resting place whilst you remove the old motor. Now simply lift the door up and off the bracket, lower it down and remove the old motor. You can lower the door down as far as you need to get the old motor off. Slide the rope ladder over the end of the axle to support the door and then lower the door down gently. Before installing a new opener, it's vital that your door runs smoothly and quietly. This will prevent any unwanted issues down the track. The two main points of lubrication that are important to do on a roller door are the torsion springs and the axle hubs. Most of the noise from a roller door will come from the torsion springs inside the door. If your roller door is still very noisy, See our other video on how to service a noisy roller door. This is another optional step however, it will get you the most life out of any opener that you decide to put on your roller door. Now it's time to install the opener. There are two forks on the opener that need to fit side by side on a roller door drum wheel spoke. Support the roller door with your hand or shoulder and slide the opener over the axle and onto the drum wheel.
Make sure to align the forks over each side of a spoke in the drum wheel. If necessary, rehang the axle onto the rope ladder, otherwise simply lift the door back up onto the bracket. Depending on how much room you have, there are two ways to fix the roller door opener to the roller door. One is to sit the opener on top of the bracket. The second way is to clamp the opener to the axle of the roller door and use the existing U-bolt for the bracket fixing. In this case, we are going to fit the opener onto the bracket and move it as close to the door as possible to get a good overlap with the forks. Don't be afraid to move the bracket inward slightly if you need to. This door also needs to be moved to the right about 20 millimeters and we're going to do that shortly. Since this opener comes with serrated flange nuts, you can leave out the washer plate anyway. When using serrated flange nuts, the flange extends the bearing surface and the serrations will lock onto the bracket. One of the most important things to get right when setting up your roller door is getting the lead in right. A poor lead in can be the cause for much sticking and ballooning, which will make for a very dodgy operating roller door. The following steps will show you how to align and balance a heavy roller door by adjusting the spring tension and aligning the door with the tracks. As you can see, this roller door does not line up with the inside of the track. We've already pre-tightened this U-bolt, so go over to the opener side and loosen that U-bolt just slightly. And for this job, you're going to need a good pair of Stilsons. You want to adjust the Stilsons so they completely fit the axle firmly. This job can be done with a hand ratchet, however we find it's much easier to use an impact driver if you have one, as it's for one handed operation. Otherwise get somebody to help you undo the U-bolt whilst you work on the Stilsons on the axle. Once you have a firm grip on the Stilsons and have undone the U-bolt, pull down a quarter to half of a turn and this will add some tension to the roller door spring. While keeping a firm grip on the Stilsons, do up the U-bolts on this side. To check the door balance, rather than go over and tighten the other U-bolt, you can hold the Stilsons firmly on the shaft while you close the door and give it a test run. This door is not sitting central on the shaft, so it needs to go to the right hand side about 20 millimeters. To centralize the door, we're going to loosen the same U-bolt and wiggle the shaft over about 20 millimeters and this will centralize the door in the tracks.
as you can see the gap between the door and the track is now ideal. Okay, now we have the door perfectly balanced and running great, it's time to plug in and set up the opener. We're going to start by telling the opener if it's on the right hand or left hand side of the door. If utilizing the standard right hand installation, this step can be ignored. However, you can still check to see if your opener has been set on the correct setting. Once you have the correct setting, press set to confirm. Now we're going to set the doors open and close limit travel setting. Hold your finger on the up button until you get near to the top of the track. Fine tune the open setting by going up and down on the controller and press the set button once you're happy with the desired open limit. When the display shows up a number two, hold the down button until the door travels down to the lower limit. Once you're nearing the bottom limit, release the button and fine tune using up or down to determine the final limit position. When you're happy with this, press the set button and the opener will operate a cycle automatically to remember the limit positions and the opening and closing force. You can use the red button underneath the opener to operate it from inside your garage. For a tidy installation, just remember to remove any old parts from your previous opener. Another good thing about LiftAway is the remotes usually come pre-programmed out of the box. If you'd like to choose a different button on your remote control, simply follow the coding instructions and choose a different button location on the remote. To prevent 
accidental operation of the opener with a locked door and also void your warranty, we highly recommend to remove the locking bars from all roller doors. Next, we're going to show you how to install the manual release extension rod. As we love perfection, we always apply some Loctite to all threaded components in our installations. This opener has a very easy to access external accessory port for wiring in external push buttons or receivers or photoelectric beams, etc. The liftaway also comes with built in battery backup, no external accessories required. Just add your 24 volt battery and you have a battery backed up unit. The lift away comes preset for a factory setting of three for the sensitivity. This is normally fine for most doors. However, if you are finding you are having false obstruction sensitivity, please adjust the settings accordingly. The maximum setting should only be used on older motors or very large doors. We find number four works great on single roller doors without being over or under sensitive to obstructions. Always make sure to retest the safety system by placing an object that's 50 millimeters or more under the door and make sure it reverses within a couple of seconds. And that's how you replace your old roller door opener with a brand new lift away. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe.